Hi there, welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn all about Azure DevOps. So basically, this is going to be a complete tutorial of the Azure DevOps and everything we will learn from scratch. So if you are complete beginner to Azure DevOps or you are experienced to Azure DevOps, then you can watch this tutorial and you will learn lots of things. I will say most of the things of the Azure DevOps through this tutorial. This is the first part of this tutorial and in this part we will learn what is DevOps in general. We will not talk about Azure DevOps, I will simply talk about what is DevOps. Let's start. First of all, let's have a look what is the agenda of this video. In this video we will learn what is DevOps, what is the need of DevOps, who should learn DevOps, what are the benefits of learning DevOps. These few important questions we are going to cover in this video. Before DevOps, let's have a look on how software development works. So basically, I'll be discussing a basic life cycle of the software development. In the starting of everything, you have to make a plan. Once your plan is ready, you have to write the code. Once you are done with the code, then you have to build your code so that you can give it to the testing team. Then the testing team will test the product. After that, it will be deployed on the server. Once the code is deployed on the server, there are some operations which needs to be performed. The last one is monitor. Someone from the team has to monitor what exactly is happening on the server. Does it need the scale up or the scale down or do we need to increase the server capacity, etc. All these things we need to monitor on the server. So if you are working in a startup company or you have a very small premises or you have very few number of people in your team, then all these things are done by the same team. The same team will work on the plan, the development and also on the deployment. But if you are working in a big organization or even if you are working in a small organization and still your organization follows some process, then things are little bit differ. How? All these steps are done by different teams. So first you have the plan. For the planning of any project, we have a different team. We can say this team comes under business team or the product owner. The product owner sits with the client and he work on the planning part of the product. Then we have the development team. Development team includes developers and the testers. They code, build and test the product. And then at the last, we have the operations team. The main work of the operations team is to deploy the code on the server, monitor it and operate it. So right now we can say that we have three teams working on a particular product development. Earlier when we were working in the waterfall model, then all these teams were working independently. When agile came into picture, the gap in between these two teams were filled. So business team or PO and the development team were working together on the success of a product. Now, we have one more team which is operations team still there was a gap in between these two teams the development team and the operations team now let's understand what is devops devops is something where the development and the operations work together so we have dev from the development and ops from the operations hence we have a new word which is devops so from this slide you will understand that DevOps is something related to the development team and the operations team and there is a plus symbol in between them it means they will work together basically DevOps fills the gap in between development and the operations just like Agile did to the business team the PO and the development team same thing is done by the DevOps for the development team and the operation let's have a look on few points of what is DevOps. DevOps is a culture or practice. Okay, this is very important to understand. DevOps is a culture or practice which fills the gap between development team and the operations team. If you are thinking DevOps is a tool, a process or methodology or any technique, then this is not true. DevOps is basically a culture. It is a practice. Both the team works together in entire software development lifecycle to ensure the quality of product, ability of the product to work in different environments. 
let me tell you a very general statement from the development team so what happens when a particular developer develops something and he gives it to the tester for the testing and if something is not working in that environment then there is a general excuse or we can say general statement from the development team that this is working fine on my system i do not know what is happening on the other environment it means there is some problem related to the environment and this gap is filled by the devops in this devops environment both the teams works together and they focus on the environment the quality of the product and there are different aspects which we will learn in the later part of this video or in this tutorial all these points are taken care by the devops loads of tools are available in market to automate this process to work in the devops there are multiple tools available in the market you can choose any one of them as per your requirement all tools have their own configuration their own price some of them are free some of them are paid but all of them have the feature to automate your process ultimately all these things happen in a automatic way devops help us to run the life cycle on each commit or particular interval by using automate process what is the meaning of this line if we talk about the overview of the software development life cycle what happens initially we plan we develop and we deploy but if i say all these process will happen on each commit you made to your code so whenever you are working on a git repository or any other code repository and you commit your code and you simply push it all the steps happens there automatically so whenever you push the code it will build automatically it will test automatically it will deploy automatically and other operations which are available there all those operations will happen automatically so basically we are taking care of each commit of the software development to ensure the quality and other aspects of the product that was all about the introduction to devops now the question is who should learn devops this is very important question who should learn devops each person who is working in a software development team the developers tester product owner scrum master etc all the members who are working in the development team needs to learn devops i'm not mentioning any technology so if you are working on any technology then you should learn devops devops is irrespective of your technology if you are working with dotnet or java or php or angular or any other technology which is available in the market then devops is for you operations team obviously the operations team all the member from the operations team who are responsible for the deployment the management the monitoring all those things all the persons from the operations team must learn about the devops individual developers if you are not working in a team and you are individual contributor on a particular project still you need to learn about the devops because it is going to improve your process your speed of development your speed of deployment all these things it is going to improve a lot freelancers so if you are a freelancer and you need to manage your code so sometime what happens you write your code into your system and because of some reason that system got crashed then what will happen you will lost all your code all your planning everything will be lost what will happen if you will manage all these things on a particular server then everything will be available to you every time whenever you will access that server from any kind of machine management the management team must also learn about the devops because what exactly is the development team is doing in the success of a product they can get a clear picture by looking at few graphs and the details of the work which is going on hence management team should also learn devops the client if you are the client of a product and some team is working on your product then you must learn about the devops because you can get a clear picture of what is going on in the development side you can see the progress with the help of multiple type of graphs with the help of deployment how many bugs are there how many stories are there etc these points are taken care by the devops so if you are a client you must learn about the devops and at the last everyone who is related to the development of something in any way if you are developing something and you have any connection to that development then you must learn about the devops let's see what are the benefits of devops fast delivery 
deploying code from dev machine to server is very fast so basically developer has to commit the code he has to push into the particular repository and all the process of deploying the code will be automatically so it is very fast to deploy on the particular server reduce time loads of thing like testing deployment rollback are happening automatically obviously in the beginning you have to make some setups you have to write some code but once you are done with all those things then everything will happen automatically like the testing the deployment all you have to do is you have to focus on your development you have to push your code and the rest will be taken care by the devops rollback any release which you think should not go to the end user because of any reason you can roll it back easily so sometime what happens you have pushed a code and which has a feature that you do not want to expose to the customer simply you can roll it back very easily if we talk about the another scenario sometime a wrong feature is checked in and that is deployed on the server still in this scenario also you can roll back your code very easily quality with loads of automatic tool we can check the quality of code before deploying it on the server so there are several steps you can apply the manual testing or the automatic testing all these steps can be taken care by the devops and you can ensure that the quality work is going on the server if there is some problem then you will get to know that this is a problem you can fix it and again you can push your code and you can again run the entire process to make the successful deployment collaboration all teams work together to build a great product so whether you are coming from the management background or you are coming from the development team or you are coming from the operations team all the teams work together in order to build a great product more agility every commit is treated as a final delivery so if we talk about the agile process in the agile what happens you have to work in the sprints and at the last of sprint you have to give something valuable product to the customer and what is the meaning of valuable it should be well developed it should be well tested well deployed all the things should be there in that code now if you break it down into very small part and we say that all these steps will be taken care whenever you will make a single commit that's why we say more agility it means it is bringing more agility to the development easy to use devops is very easy to use you can learn it very fast it is very simple to use no maintenance there is no maintenance cost if you are working with the devops reliable you can trust on the devops that you will always get the quality product and the quality services from the devops secure security is something which is the main concern we can say devops is completely secure but it depends on the tools which you are using for the devops since in this entire tutorial we will work on the azure devops so we can say that azure devops is 100% secure there is a guarantee of the security there is no doubt in the security of the process of everything and there are lots of benefits of the devops which we will learn whenever we will work on the devops don't forget to hit the like button of the video tell me your feedback in the comment section share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day